All right, we're back with electronic puppy training, and it does, it irks me. You know, people say, well, you've got the collar. Anybody can have it. They're selling them. They're manufacturing them faster than people can buy them. The fact that I'm doing something with it doesn't mean that I should be... I don't even know what to say, you know. <laughs> he said, well, you're so secretive. That's Fred Hassan. That's Fred Hassan. And there's no secret, Fred was originally with Dogtra. Oh God, if I could go back and find that cached picture of this guy. I remember seeing that picture and asking Regina, who is that guy? Oh yeah, he was a wacko back then. And he tried to force their hand and get him to do, I think what he was trying to do was get him to make a cheap collar with no pager, because he doesn't use the pager and they wouldn't do it. They tried to say that to me one time. Yeah, Fred Hassan tried that. I go, yeah, and look what happened. He freaking left and sh went and sold gazillions of those stupid sport dog cheap model. <laughs> They're stupid. Anyway, that's what you're thinking to yourself. I mean, I'm not going to, my training, you know, protocol isn't going to be wait till I see it doing something like it, I don't want and then start trying to get it to stop. If, if that was going to be what it was, you would say as soon as soon as before it started doing it as possible, I want to do something. Even that, you know, it just doesn't work to say I'm going to correct them or I'm going to use a collar for corrections. And honestly, if people want to argue with me and say, well, you've got, you know, they don't have the collar. They could have the collar. Anybody can give a, get a collar. Let's call Amazon. Apparently give them away for free. I'll tell you why they probably told you to keep that collar, Timothy. Remember my Amazon warehouse deals? This is the memo at Amazon warehouse to corporate. Get rid of this shit. <laughs> we don't want it. Get rid of it. <laughs> We're making because of bazillions of dollars. We don't have time to worry about this merchandise that's been at somebody's house. Get rid of it. It seemed like they had a special truck bringing one load over here. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they're getting ready for the holiday rush. They oh, don't even bother sending it back, dude. We don't have any room in the warehouse. If you send it back, I'm telling you, this is what you could do. If somebody was smart, they could probably scam Amazon. Order a bunch of stuff, send it back. Then have somebody else buy it the next day on Amazon warehouse deals for half price. Then sell it on eBay for twice the price. That's what these people do. A lot of them. They have total scams where people shoplift and sell stuff on eBay. If you said, what does that mean? Well, it means you can get stuff real cheap. <laughs> Good stuff, too. Good stuff from the expensive drugstores. <laughs> anyway, so, but I want to talk about, we got to think of it as a page or leash. So, she said, what's a page or leash? A page or leash is a leash that instead of the handler pulling it, that page leash is instead of the handler pulling it from here, trying to get the dog to go in the direction, you're using the pager to drive it in your direction. It's just a different concept. Ah! Anyway, it's a beautiful day. And Timothy, you didn't do anything wrong. You, how could you realize? You should have seen what happened when Connie brought that collar here. Oh, I shredded her. Oh, I let her know she was the cruelest dog mommy on earth putting that on Lukey sent it back too. And come to think of it, I think I did see it on Amazon warehouse deals. <laughs> anyway, you want to get the collar on though. If this is the page or leash, we don't want it to be. And you said, what a percentage of them bite at your hands and stuff when you put, like 100% of the ones that do it the first time you put the leash on when they're a little puppy. They keep doing it. <laughs> oh, forever and ever and ever. So if you said, how do I correct biting the leash? Um... Understand that that's yay. If it's biting the leash, it's biting at you, so you correcting it seems combative. And this so what I want to say though is I can drive you. Yeah. I can. Oh, I can drive you in my direction. Yay. And you said you're giving him every hint. Yes, I'm giving him every hint. He said he's just following that lead. Yeah, he's following the lead. If it's a lead. If it's a lead, 
Let's think of it that way. Let's not call it a leash. Let's call it a lead. Brody. Oh, he gravity's got him. He's got it both ways. He sinks to the ground. Oh. throw my pager in for that because he's going to do it anyway. <laughs> Listen, Clutzarella. And I'm going to tell you, I give him a shake off. If you said, what do people end up, most people say, oh, it's better off the leash than on the leash. And if you, and if, if you said, what do I attribute that to? They're not good on the leash. Once you take the leash off, they're dependent on the pager, so they're able to push the button. And their skill on the leash, if you said, well, they, these same people can get on horses and ride. No, they can't. These same people get on horses and can't ride the horse. Yay! <laughs> oh, look, Jessica's already picking up trash. Oh, he'll be the neighborhood hero. No trash in your neighborhood. Any town USA, no trash where he lives. Okay, so I've got two new things now. We've got him in boy training. I realize that one thing guys do a lot, especially when they're near the water. Oh, Timothy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'll put that thing on eBay. Here's what you do. You cut and paste the description uh, from, um, you know, the dog tour website, uh, accentuating the part where whatever it is, they say, oh, heavy duty and full one mile range. Put that in red. And then put it $10 cheaper. Buy it now. Put it $10 cheaper than anyone else on there. And if you said, how long will it last? Oh, not long. And the, oh, and then put perfect Christmas gift for your hubby. <laughs> If your hubby's a real man and he's got himself a real dog that's going to need this big boy. Not like my little dog, my little dog. Oh, I had the wrong one. Oh, why are you selling it? Oh, I had the wrong one. My trainer said my dog doesn't need this. This is for a real man's dog. <laughs> yeah, they'll be snapping it up. Anyway, so the guy training, this is what I figured out about guys. They're always losing their hat. Am I wrong? No. You're down at the river. Now, oh, here you go, Timothy. You're down at the river, a little gust of wind blows off the hat. Off it goes into the water. What now? The tide's taking it away. My favorite hat. Yeah, that's where comes in. And my phone, I understand it is a good idea to get him to bring you. This is a very boring phone. Obviously, it's not a real phone, but, and I know it's pink, but so. <laughs> Perfect hat fetcher. Oh yeah, no, I'll do, I'll do, I'll do it like a more realistic one where it actually just falls off my head. Oh, am adorable. I need to do. I, I need to go to. Oh, here, here, here's what I can do. This will be a good skit, Timothy. Think of this one. I go put the hat down there. It'll probably float for a while. These things float for a while. I can even put one of those little air packs from Amazon that they pack my dog food in. Yay. Anyway, it's just floating out there in the water, and then I just go out there in the dog. If you said, would they swim out there? Yeah, they would swim out there if they spotted it out there. If you said, oh, one time there's more than one time there's a dead fish floating out there, you know, and you know how they can, like, turn white or the white part of their belly sticking up or something? Yeah, they spotted this thing, and off they went. In fact, there's one video where I said, George, get rid of this fish. What does George do? He throws it back into the pond. What do they do? They jump and go get it. Hey, jump and go get it. Oh, this one needs to turn on. Oh, you little monkey. 
All right, so I can cue him to go with the pager now, so let's try it again. Oh, he's absolutely perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna cue him with the pager. The world's best delivery. <laughs> oh, it would have been really cute in slow mo. Am I wrong? <laughs> you know, if he's saying to himself, How can I do it better? Oh, look at this. I'll go over here and I'll go over there. Anyway, you know, he's a little, he's a busy little dog. If you don't do things to keep him busy, well, he's gonna, he's gonna come up with his own things. You know, I can't find the keys. And that's what I'm going to do this weekend. I'm just going to start. This is what I do. I just get a garbage bag and I start throwing, getting all the clothes that I don't wear. <laughs> if I see it, I, if I haven't worn it in the last year, I'm not going to wear it. Get rid of it. Somewhere some homeless person has some very eclectic looking outfits. Let's put it that way. And then I find all the... Gee. He's chewing on a piece of wood. That's the one thing about him. He likes a lot of sticks. Anyway, he'll do it as a default, too. Oh, hi, Dick. How's Mishka? How's Jackson? Oh, my God. I got to tell you about this strange phone call I got. All right, hang on. So I can just do it as a default. I'm walking along. I'm walking along. I dropped my phone. <laughs> Hello? Oh no, you know what? He'd be really easy. I gotta think how I could do it. I could easily, I'm sure, go get him to get that one. Remember that one pink phone I have that's like a, you know, it's got the, it's like the more old style. It's got like the, the receiver thing. Oh yeah, I'll tell ya. I'm gonna be on Amazon Warehouse Deals. Uh, that's going to be my holiday shopping. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. I just got a bag of science diet on there for 20 bucks. If you said, how much is it normally? It's 40 bucks. It wasn't even 20 bucks. It was like 19.98 or some crap. They have crazy prices. And if you said, well, what, what was it? It was listed as like new. If you said what it's going to be when it gets here, it's going to be like gone. All right, watch. I can do silent recall. Watch. So, I think you're doing your recall. The reason a lot of you guys don't have the really good recall, I think you do need to progress to the silent part. I could have easily stood there and said, Brody, da, 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 da. but we're past that point, you know. Or if you said, what stage, boom, 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 you know. If I, if, if you're, the message that you're saying is, well, we're going this way now, not, Come to me, obey me, and I said they just don't go for that. You know, no one does. If you said, you know, born free or whatever, remember that song, Timothy, or some movie or something. Yeah, it was this movie about this lion, Elsa. It was the song Born Free. That was kind of like I think those might have been in the seventies or something. That's when people really just honestly, if you said before that, people really understood about being free. Not like they did in the 70s. There was sort of a revolution of, you know, that did help us get where we are now, where people can, you know, <laughs> it's, it's considered admirable to pursue your dream and do things in life to help other people and all that. Back then, yeah. There was no Dr. Phil. There was no, there was Phil Donahue, though. All right, Brody. Was Phil Donahue, but anyway, so <laughs> he cares. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Now, I'm not gonna call him if you said, Well, what would you do if you needed him to? I'd sneak away before I'd call the dog and get a poor response. If he was over there sniffing and I could see that that flipping dog was not gonna respond, Brody.
If you said I don't like that, I don't want that kind of Don't want that kind of recall, Jesus! It was technically unbelievably perfect. It, technically, that you can teach him to spin like that. If you said, well, that's the advantage you've got. Yeah, so you get anybody can have the advantage. You know, it's just when people say, well, you've got the collar. And then, anybody could have it. What is, there is nothing special about me that I... So what do you do? I am going to add my neck. What? Friday! understand about that is the neck has more to do with over there than it does with me what happens when it gets back by me what has is what has to do with me the neck happening way over there even around that corner and everything if you think that that's not technically valid and people can't anybody can do this work if you said other e-collar, this Ted, whatever his name is, making it much more clear than you. <laughs> Here's my response. <laughs> you know, Fred Hassan used to, uh, if you can even believe this, tape over the button on the remote so people couldn't see when the button was being pierced. Like they can tell that anyway. Jesus, again, they can't even tell when you have an effing sound box on. <laughs> That's how secretive it was. You couldn't tell when you were hitting the remote. It's like, are you even kidding me? <laughs> anyway. But I was on my neck on almost 40. And if you said the dog wasn't facing away, it was facing away. I was facing away from the opening of the gate. It was there. It was facing that way. But it knew the opening was back that way, so it was facing away. So when it got the nick, it went back this way, and then what you saw was boom. If you said what I saw, a dog's kind of poking along. Poking along? He's a flipping bullet? No, he's a flipping bullet. So, you know, I think you have to say to yourself, in cases of heightened reality, I'm going to need my gas pedal, probably not my brakes. Unless it's a heightened reality's runaway train. <laughs> She's not toying. Look at her. Look at her looking back. Oh, she'll start shaking it around. Oh, he's definitely awful. If you said, well, 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 isn't she getting enough attention? 
clearly look at her. She's and she's gonna look back to see what reaction I'm having. Uh huh. You so what? What are you deadpan? Deadpan. Mm -hmm. Look at her. Huh? She's gonna up it. Up. She's gonna up the game now. She knows I'll do that for a little while. If it's something real important, I'll come running up there in a panic. <laughs> oh, she is absolutely awful. And luckily, I got Brody because when she sets it down, he's gonna bring it to me. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Oh my God. I don't know if you saw that. Watch her. Oh, she's kind of free fighting him. She's gonna kick him with her leg. She can't bite him. So watch. He goes back over there. She kicked him. Yeah, hey, she pulled the kung fu on him. Oh, she's awful. Oh, all she's got to do is abandon it, though, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get her, uh... Oh, no, she's not, though. She's going to sit there and... Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's keep... She's keeping him away. Oh, he's looking to see if there's anything else that got lost. Oh, he's got his eye on it, though. If you said if she left, he would go get... It. Oh, absolutely. He's, he's, he's clocked it now. He's made a note of where it is. He's also knows she's parked right next to it. Oh, she's awful. I might be able to trick her into the garage. If you said how, uh, Jesus. I'm gonna have to do a Meryl Streep type of acting job. Uh-oh, here we go. Okay, I should be able to get Brody to go get it. See, it's already coming in handy. Yep, yep. Jess is like, well, what do you mean we're going to have to take shoe bottom? Yes, Jessica. If you would have read the paper that you signed a little more closely, it said you will be obligated to be a foster home for shoe bottom <laughs> for six months after Brody's training. <laughs> Jessica's like, I'll do it. Oh, she'll be perfect, girl. She sleeps right on the bed. She didn't let anybody sneak around. Yeah, she's good. So, yeah, see, my plan worked out perfect. If if not for Brody, I would have actually had to walk over there myself and pick that hat up. And if you said, well, he's got two behaviors. Yeah, he does. He's got to lay down or go get something. I mean, what else would he be doing? That's what you have to ask yourself. What, what else? Yeah, if you said, what does he do with his free time? He chews up sticks. Here's my answer emphatically. He chews up sticks. <laughs> That's what he does with his free time. She went about in his crate. I told you I have those Nyla bones in there that look like a stick. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> that might have been the UPS man. Oh no! Oh, I know what happened. Shoe Bottom saw those birds out there. Yeah, they're still out there. She sees them out there. Hang on, let me go get my shoes. We'll go out there because Brody will probably chase them. And if you said what you, what do you do? I'll tell you what I do in cases of. I don't want an animal getting a another animal. That I, if I have a dog with a collar on and I don't want it getting another animal, yes, oh, I absolutely use a dick. If I have to, I use a constant. I, you know, if you say, well, I in what context breaks? If you said, well, something can't, you can't slam on the brakes and go the other direction. Yeah, you can. If you're trained by Kelly, you can. All right, hang on, let me get my shoes.
Brody. Yay. Yes. Some more worlds. Over there eating those palm dates. Okay, come on. Yeah, these birds. They don't seem that scared. Uh-oh. So, look what we got. Now she's going to say, where's my hat? I'll tell you where your hat is. I got it. I got a dog trained to deal with you, she bought him. Oh, they might have scared him away by now. They're hard to see, though, unless they're moving. They are. They do. Oh, no, I think they're still there. Just she, it looks like she's looking at them. They blend in. She's awful. Oh, yeah, there they are. There they are. Oh, I want you to watch this. So if you said, what is my plan? My plan is due to the heightened reality. If you said, what's the heightened reality? This dog's here behavior. She's going to go, and she's going to go big. And my plan is to get this gate open. And my plan is to stop this puppy and get it back. Hang on. If you said, well, you, you only got it back because you used the Nick based on the velocity it was going. Yeah, yeah, I only got it back because I used the Nick based on the velocity that it was going. You are correct. <laughs> and then if you said, how many times did you hit it? And I was on 40, and I would say about five times. So if you said five one hundredths of a second, Total, yes, five one hundredths of a second total. <laughs> you can see I'm losing it. I'm losing it. If you said, Oh, am awful, you see that she just knocked him on his head. Oh, that would have been good for my blooper reel. Oh, yeah, oh, see how he got see, he got his. I'll tell you, if you said, How do they learn? Uh, you know, not to keep doing the bike, the novelty wears off. Off. So that was very, very good. And it's my job. If you said, what was the heightened reality based on? It was based on the velocity. All right, watch. I'm going to use my neck again. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait until they get back over there. And if you said, these labs are very, very insensitive. I'd say, oh, yeah, no, that's been my experience. Yeah, they're very insensitive. And people say, well, I have it on 20. 20. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was 40 right there, and if you said reality doesn't get more heightened than that, oh no, it gets more heightened than that, <laughs> you know. The heightened reality was, he didn't see the bird, he was riding her impulses. Right, watch, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do the minute I can get a little closer, because you're going to be able to see it. That was just a default, and he gave it the shake off. It's all conflict. Shoe bottom. Shoe bottom was in heightened reality because of the bird. And if you said, well, what did she learn from that? The faster I go, then she, if you said, what, what did she get out of it? Oh, it's flapping its wings. It was getting away from her. She's big and bad. She chased it away. She chased away the... You know, it's the Don Quixote effect. I chased away the enemies. Yeah, the enemies. These birds are our friends. God knows what kind of grubs they're picking out of the grass around here. <laughs> but in her mind, it was our sworn enemy here to only do us harm. It was here to do us harm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what she's saying. So I used my verbal, I used my, I used everything. I used my collar, I used the nick, I used the verbal. I, when he looked back, wasn't standing there squarely saying, come, I was clearly headed the other way. It was, sure, I only went that way one step, but yeah, it was pretty clear. And I changed my mind, who cares? 
No, oh, she's awful. No, no, she'd be on the lookout for these birds now. If you said where are they probably went down by the pond now. They don't seem that scared. But that's what you have to say if there's two or three of them. If you said, well, if you've trained it to stay, when people say, well, oh, it sits, it stays, it does all these things, but then it takes off. I said, well, if it knows all these commands, then just shout stay as it's running off. If, as you say, it knows sit and stay, then just scream sit and stay. <laughs> Anyway, so that was very, very good. And if you said that dog was near its top end, it, I would say it was pretty near its top end. It was, it was going pretty freaking fast. All right. Now he's thinking of going to the pond. Watch him, watch him. If you said checking in, no, no. You need, we need to get the right term for that. It's called checking out. He said, what was that? That was a silent recall. And that was, I do think, look at her, Pen and Molly in there, so awful. He said, oh, the only thing I can do is leave and just hurry up and get down to the pond. Hurry up and get away. Away, me and brother are gone. Have fun with your little, you know, Facebook bullying. That's what she'll, she'll be a Facebook bully. Oh, she'll be out here in a minute. As soon as she sees I'm gone, don't you worry. Yeah, she'll be right down here, going past me. Oh, if you said right out here, she go. I'll tell you, it's a beautiful day today. It's a, this, is, this is why we live in Florida. Look at all the little snow. Oh, it's like a snow globe. Oh my God, I gotta show Timothy. Hang on. It's like I'm not there, lady. I want to. Oh, you might watch it later. He's so worried about me doing that. I'm not mad at that. Oh, look, look, look. All right, watch. Here's the snow globe. Wait, let me do this one. This one's already big. I did that one yesterday. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You said, what happened? Oh, shoe bottom going. She took Brody with her. If you said, what do you do? This is what I do. Brody! You can't see him. If you said he didn't appear, he appeared. <laughs> Yay. If you said, what was that? That was heightened reality in that, oh, shoe bottom's gone. And uh, look at her ears. And she's taking Brody with her. And where in God's name is this animal at? I don't have time for this bullshit. That was what that was. <laughs> yeah, you've all going to have that at your house one day. Oh, look at the cardinals. Oh, people love these little red birds. Look. So I, did, I, I gave it everything I had. If you said, what do you mean? How did you exploit you, your voice? I exploited my voice by making it clear I was traveling away from the dog. You've got to do that. You've got to do, if you said, I don't do that, I stand there, I clap my hands, I squat down. And, yeah. And here it is, it's like a snow globe, look. It's like a snow globe. Yeah, there's a snowman. Yeah, that's the little snowman. Oh my god, I gotta find the fish. This one is just huge. If I throw something in the road, he's gonna jump in here. You see how low the pond was before, though? That plant was growing on the ground. Now it's an aquatic plant. It's not even really an aquatic plant. It's not. Unbelievable. I'm gonna do a crash episode. Yeah, the fish are all scared of me. Anyway, you can see how that works. If you said that dog is now going to, after what you did, adding that nick at top speed, it's going to try to start blowing through the nick. No, it isn't. It does now have a reflex when it feels the nick. You're... I, I do like the term hijacking the reflex. 
If you said, well, in order to hijack it, you've got to pull a gun. Yeah, I had to pull a gun. <laughs> Think of it that way. Some of you can just hijack with the pager. And if they're going wide effing open. Oh, look at him going that way. Oh, he's going way over that way. All right, I'm going to do my verbal homework. No, yeah, I'm going to have to because he's probably going to be right now. In fact, this is what you guys need to do. This is what you need to do. If you don't have a fast, if you don't have the boom in your recall. Yay. You've got to just walk away more. Not call the dog. If you said, well, if I don't call it, it's not, then you, then you have to work on that. If somebody says, well, I have to call it, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to follow me or look at me or come to me if it just sees me going away, then that's what you have to work on. You know, if, if it's, if your commanded behavior is not, hijacking impulses, you've got to go back and develop impulses. So this dog says to itself, I cannot take my eye off this damn thing. It takes off. That's what their internal dialogue needs to be about you. Not if I hear my master's voice, I'll obey. It needs to be, you cannot take your eyes off this damn thing. Oh God, there's this over there. Hurry, get it, get it, get it. Chase it down, chase it down. <laughs> the game is tag, you know. And that's why this dog moves so freely. Ah! It was Jumanji. That vine grabbed me. Oh, oh, look, look, look. Brody! Yay! Sophie said, what did I do? I did add my Nick. Oh, yeah, I've got a hole. There's cardinals everywhere out here. I should go get seed for them. Some of these idiots over there howling. Oh, the magic forest is coming back. Yeah, it's really cute to do their picture in here. Oh, oh except her shoe bottom's pooping in there. Yeah, that's a real good shot. Oh, I probably get a lot of likes on Facebook. That one time that dog Fred was pooping in the video. Oh, people that never liked anything liked that. I'm like, I'll tell you what my response was. These people aren't my friends. <laughs> So I think that's what you're saying. I'm waiting till this dog Brody Yay has an impulse and I'll do hijack it and say, Yay, impulses are great. Bring them to bring them on. You know, bring them home with you. Alright, let's go this way a little bit. It's so nice out. I'm just gonna run through a few more little training dogs, get done early. Oh, and I'm off. What if you said what is she eating? Oh well, whatever it is, she's not gonna let him get it. If I had to guess some possum poop or something, or let me go and try to see what kind of animals are out here. Gophers, I guess. I oh, mean, Brody just leave. He said, what about her? I oh, should be coming up behind us any minute. As soon as she gets done eating, whatever it is on the ground. He said, go over there and crack her. That would be just like Brody going over there and trying to get it. It's not going to work. Oh, now she wants a treat. Look at her smacking her lip from whatever she's eating. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. There you go. Oh, she's just, your breath is hideous. Okay, let me see if I can see the fresh out. There's one of them. Oh. oh, there they are. Oh. <laughs> OMG! I'm gonna get a slow mo of that. That was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. Yeah, so I got some bad news for you, Jessica. You're not gonna be doing a whole lot of fish feeding with Brody around. If, if one of your hobbies is, look at them, there they are right there. One of your hobbies is going down the lake and feeding fish. Well, that's, that's not gonna work out anymore. <laughs> no, 
out with Brody around. He's a fish scarecrow. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, she sees him. She doesn't really make ever any attempt to grab him or anything, though. I think she might try to hit him with her feet. Watch her feet. Look at her. <laughs> She's got me trained. Oh, yeah. Oh, I should have posted that picture of her last night. Oh, as soon as she put the new comforter on the bed. Oh, yeah. She was all about it. It was all hers right in the middle of bed. Yep. Nice and cushy. All about her. Very narcissistic dog. <laughs> it's true. Always looks back at me, trying to see what I'm doing, keeping an eye on me. You know, if I can sneak away, that's why she does it. She looks back. As soon as she looks back, then I take off because I know she's not going to look back again for a minute, and that she is deaf. So that her internal dialogue. Oh, look there, Skylar. Her internal dialogue. Look at her. Her internal dialogue is can't take your eyes off this thing. This damn thing will take off. All right, guys, I'm going to try to get a uh, slow-mo of Brody jumping in the water just because the way he's doing it. Anyway, he's completely, he was completely uh, sub submerged in the water when he did it. So I'm going to try to get a slow-mo of that because the kids will love that. So Anyway, Jess, I uh, will talk to you over the weekend or whatever, girl. Just uh, hopefully, I don't know if you're out of town or whatever, but everything's fine, so don't worry. He still has food. He still has some of the street, so... Don't want you to worry, girl. Okay. Bye, guys. And I'll, if I can get this video, I'm going to post it.